exercise of Clash of Katanas. In this case, we have a local group of bandits that has been pestering the local samurai lord. And this samurai lord has decided to bring some of his best men to eliminate this threat. So combat starts already at close quarters and the samurai have come within eight inches of a unit of bandit sharpshooters there in the rocks and a unit of veteran bandits in the woods. So, but we're starting with the bandit uh, commander with the initiative and he decides to spend one command point to activate his sharpshooters in the rocks. They're gonna use their first action to prepare their, uh, their arquebuses on the samurai. They have a sniper trait that allows them to do this and will allow them to have a plus one in a subsequent shooting uh, if they get to that. So now they're gonna do a second action. The samurai could, um, could interrupt, but because they're farther away than four, samurai lord sees no sense in trying to uh, interrupt now for one action. So the sharp shooters will do their second action and they will shoot. There's, there's six of them they're within eight of the samurai. So they, uh, all of them are gonna be able to shoot. They're gonna hit on fives, which is their shooting skill, but because they were able to prepare their shot, they're gonna hit on fours. And they did four hits. At this distance, the tempo has zero save modifier and the samurai have enclosed armor, so they save with fours. And that four remains unmodified. They save two and two die. Now the samurai have to roll morale. They have one for getting hit and two for the two casualties that they suffered. Notice that the sharpshooters don't have volley like some of the trained Ashigaru do with devil. Samurai have a greed of three and they pass all. They're undeterred by the weapons of their enemy. So now the the sharpshooters have two actions, no fatigues, because firing with a tempo has uh, there's no um, fatigue to you, but they have two unloaded markers, showing that they won't be able to shoot soon. They're gonna instead do their third action. Oh, that's a more appropriate one. Uh, they're gonna use their third action to remove one of those um, reload counters. And so they're now still not able to shoot, but a little bit closer to being able to do that. Now, a very upset Samurai Lord wants to activate his Samurai to um, go and punish those uh, sharpshooters. So he activates the, the Samurai and they move four inches forward, trying to close the distance with the Teppo bandits. Seeing that his Teppo are in grave danger, the, the bandit commander is gonna spend his two command points to try to make sure that he can react with his um, with his uh, veteran bandits. So he's gonna roll two dice. The veteran bandits still only have greed of four, but he gets two chances at it because he spent both command points. And he indeed does. So the bandits now um, are going to do an all out attack against the samurai with their action. Now, the bandits have a couple of things here. One is that they are guerrilla fighters and because they are attacking from the woods, they're actually, they're gonna do a normal attack. And when, so that when they're attacking from the woods using their guerrilla skill, they're gonna put an additional die to the samurai in, um, in morale. They also have ruthless, which if the samurai had fatigue would allow them to give a minus one to save against the samurai. Because whenever they fight someone that has more fatigue than them, they get a minus one to save to the enemy. But in this case, because the samurai were undaunted by the, by the shots of the, of the musket, of the arquebuses, they don't have this advantage. So bottom line, we're gonna have six veteran bandits attacking. Samurai will decide to, um, they have two options here. They have three, they could hold, they could counterattack, or they could do furikaeshi, which will allow them to defend and at the same time hit back. And they're gonna do this. So they're gonna do furikaeshi. So they're whirling their najinatas on top of their head and, and going back slightly. So the veteran bandits now, if they want to close in on the samurai, are gonna have to roll one grit and roll four or more, which they pass. So they launch themselves into the najinatas. So now the six veteran bandits are gonna roll. They have combat of three, so they need threes. 
but because of the Furikaeshi, they have a minus one, so they hit on fours, and all ones hit themselves. Huh. So they did hit three of the Samurais, but they also hit two times themselves. So on themselves, they don't have, uh, they have a partial armor, so they're gonna save on sixes. They save one, one dies. And the three that hit the Samurai, the Samurai save on fours. They save two, one dies. Now we have to roll morales. The bandits don't have to roll morale because the Furikaeshi doesn't uh, generate morale. The Samurai do. They have to roll one for, um, for the casualty, one for getting hit, and one for the fact that they were attacked by a guerrilla unit starting from the woods. They need threes. They could have rolled the ones because they're honorable and the bandits obviously are not. Um, but as it is, they only suffer one fatigue. And um, they have to go back an inch. And because they did Furikaeshi, their green turns to yellow. They have two actions. Um, while the bandits, they did their one action. And they got one fatigue. Um, yes, because it was an attack and it was the first action. Now, then the samurai, they still have one action left. Um, and they're going to use it to at least charge home to the, um, to the tepo. Because they want to take advantage of the fact that the tepo are out of actions. So they go there. Um, and the tepo will have to hold because they have no actions to respond or to defend. The samurai will roll five dice. They're going to hit on threes. And they hit four hits. And the, and the, the bandits are going to have to save on sevens. They don't. So four of the bandits fall. And the bandit unit needs to take five dice of uh, morale. They do pass two, and so they will go back an inch and suffer three fatigues. They're going to end up with their three and three fatigues. The samurai must have been victorious, but because this was the third action, they're getting one fatigue for that and another fatigue for having attacked. So they end up out of actions and with three fatigues. If the bandit uh, commander had held on to a command point, he would be able to either charge himself or to activate the bandits to uh, charge there as the samurai had no actions left. But unfortunately, he spent both of his command points and tried to spring his ambush. And so now there's nothing left for him to do. And since the samurai lord will just move over with one of his command points, that will be the end of the turn and the end of this exercise. Hope you enjoyed it.